Gassed air motors are used in a variety of applications and provide years of reliable service. Proper preventative maintenance procedures using genuine gas replacement parts eliminates unplanned downtime, avoids costly repairs, and provides trouble-free performance. By following the step-by-step -step instructions in this video, the recommended maintenance procedures for this product are simple for anyone to conduct. Additionally, GAST has a network of authorized service centers that can conduct the recommended maintenance as well as more in-depth service procedures on your products if necessary. Before starting the recommended maintenance on your product, contact your local GAS distributor with the model number and to request the appropriate service parts that fit your unit. A list of GAS distributors and authorized service centers can be found on the GAS manufacturing website. Before conducting any maintenance on your GAS product, make sure that the air pressure in the system has been relieved. Always wear suitable clothing, eye protection, and safety shoes when servicing your product. Refer to the GAST Operation and Maintenance Manual for detailed safety instructions. While this video covers the preventive maintenance procedures for the 4AM and 6AM air motors, the procedures are similar for all GAST air motors. You'll need a few tools to perform this maintenance. Depending on your model, you will need either a Phillips head screwdriver to work on the 4AM or a 7 16th inch socket for the 6AM. Additionally, you'll need a hammer, needle nose pliers, a puller, a punch, snap ring pliers, an arbor press, and torque wrench. Let's get started. First, remove the muffler. Remove the end cap from the dead end plate. Remove the dead end plate bolts. If you have a 4 AM, you will use a Phillips head screwdriver for this. If you are maintaining a 6 AM, this operation requires a 7 16th inch socket. Remove the dead end plate using a puller. Remove the dowel pins from the body if necessary and replace them back into the end plate. Remove the rotor and vanes using an arbor press. Using a paper clip or a thin rod, remove the pins from the rotor. Remove the end cap. Remove and replace the shaft seal using a pusher. It's very important that you do not remove or loosen the drive end plate bolts. Clean the parts using gas flushing solvent AH255D, which is a specially formulated solvent that won't degrade the veins. Inspect all of the parts for scoring. If scoring is present, you'll need to contact a gas authorized service center. Dip the new spring ends that are included with the kit into a small amount of grease. Attach the pins and install them into the rotor. The grease is simply there to hold the pins in place while installing the rotor. If you're working with the 4 AM, replace the vanes into the rotor, one at a time, making sure the notch on the vane is facing inward toward the rotor. For the 6 AM, install the drive end of the rotor into the drive end plate. The amount of surface area available to generate torque is reduced as the vanes wear. So to maintain peak performance, install the new vanes and springs into the rotor. Install the new bearing from the repair kit using an arbor press. Add a few drops of gassed AD220 oil. Using a hammer and punch, tap the dowel pins into the body. Place the shim gasket onto the body. Replace the dead end plate and start the bolts. Install the new dead end bearing using the arbor press. Torque the dead end plate bolts to 100 inch pounds. Again, using a Phillips head screwdriver for the 4AM NRV50C. Or, if you're working on the 6AM NRV50C, a 7 16th inch socket. Apply grease to the inside of the end cap seal and replace the drive end cap. Next, if the shaft is locked, use a socket as a bearing pusher to lightly tap on the bearing inner race to draw the rotor away from the drive end plate. Perform the push-pull test by holding the drive end shaft in your hand while pushing and turning the shaft and then pulling and turning the shaft to ensure that the rotor is not rubbing on either end plate of the shaft. If rubbing is present, use a deep socket and tap on the inner race of the bearing to draw the rotor further off the end plate. Repeat this push-pull test. When the rotor is centered between the end plates, install the new shaft seal, making sure the top of the seal is flush with the end plate bore. Replace the end cap gasket and install the end cap. 
Remember that plugged mufflers restrict exhaust airflow and increase the working temperature of the unit, which can reduce life expectancy. So, if you're using a muffler, remove the old felt element and replace it with the felt element provided in the kit. Finally, reinstall the screen and reinstall the muffler. Your gassed air motor is now ready to be put back into service. Like any high performance equipment, regular service and the use of genuine parts are essential to keeping your gassed air motor running at its